The devil was busy. Be on guard. Matthew 10, 28. It says, And do not fear those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Rather, fear him who can destroy both soul and body in hell. And we all know who that is. And that's Christ. But we cannot fear this devil. Because all he has is influence. Although he may feel he has power. But he also knows his time is short. Let's see his trickery. Let's see hell. Be prepared. Some people when they wake up in hell. Will be devastated. And they won't find enough water in their eyes. To satisfy. Their need to weep. They'll be sobbing. Oh no! Not here! Oh God, please have mercy upon me. It'd be the greatest disappointment they could possibly experience to wake up in hell. But then the other group will be there, won't be weeping a bit. They'll be gnashing their teeth. Which is a biblical metaphor for human fury. Now let's dive into the deception of this demon, the devil. Are you praying? I need you to help. Well, that's a first. I'm in trouble and I can't do this alone. Amazing. I love it. I love it. I love this. I really think he's still praying. Now that I'm unworthy, Children. Do you honestly think that he will help you after what you just did? You are. Watch how the devil works. You see his trickery? Tainted goods. You're not even worth his effort anymore. Even if he did help you, do you think I will ever leave you alone? Ever? There is nothing that I won't do to you. No temptation, no low that you won't sink to. I know you, Kevin, and you are nothing. Nothing. I am greater than him. I am certainly greater than you.